Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead, and it looks like we'll take a pause from uh, most of our rainfall chances for your Thursday as we have uh, the disturbance responsible in part for last night's and yesterday's rain now moving off towards our northeast. Nice little upper level ridge here will keep us mainly dry uh, with a, just a slight chance for a pop-up thunderstorm for the rest of this Wednesday afternoon. Should be dry tonight and tomorrow. And then you can see this disturbance here is going to uh, follow in the the ridges footsteps and uh, bring us a cold front that will produce some thunderstorms to our north tomorrow that will begin to move into our area tomorrow night and Friday. So let's uh, first of all talk about the nice stuff as we are looking at again drier conditions tonight and tomorrow as we'll see a partly to mostly cloudy sky across the Arklatex tonight. Temperatures will fall into the upper 60s to lower 70s. Daytime highs tomorrow because we will see more sunshine for most of the day should be uh, in the upper 80s to low 90s. I'm thinking 91 degrees really for the high tomorrow in Shreveport. Looking at right around 89, 90 in Texarkana. Highs will be in the upper 80s, low 90s all across the area. As you can see the 91 for the high temperature in Natchitoches. It's going to be somewhat humid as well so a little taste of summer on the way for your Thursday. Now I notice uh, that we will see thunderstorms develop off to our north. So let's take a look at Futurecast here and show you how this is going to play out. Again still a possibility for the rest of this Wednesday afternoon for that uh, random shower or thunder shower. Uh, that will end this evening. We'll see a partly to mostly cloudy sky tonight. And then tomorrow, a few clouds in the morning will give way to uh, plenty of sunshine for most of the day. Notice, I'm going to zoom this out, thunderstorm is firing up to our north and west over parts of Kansas, northern Oklahoma, extending back into the Texas Panhandle. I'll zoom this out and show you that this activity is going to move into the northern half of the area tomorrow night. Actually could make it as far south as Interstate 20 uh, and uh, fortunately for us it will be weakening as it approaches. Uh, a lot of times we get these complexes that, that form along a boundary, uh, be it a front or a dry line. They tend to weaken late at night and during the morning hours. That will likely occur in this particular instance. So I'll zoom back in uh, to the Arklatex here and you can see that we will see uh, temperatures across, or I should say the rainfall across the area. Uh, kind of wind down during the morning Friday and then I do expect to see some more development somewhere uh, here in East Texas and Northwest Louisiana Friday afternoon. That activity will uh, again spread further to the south and east Friday night. Let me uh, go to a longer range version of Futurecast and you can see it does show the added development uh, during the afternoon uh, in East Texas and Northwest Louisiana. Uh, that activity can the main focus for late tomorrow night and as well as Friday will be northern half the area and then Friday night Saturday we'll see that focus begin to shift more towards the south and east and once we get into Saturday evening the thunderstorms will likely have moved out of our area and we'll take a pause for a few days from the rainfall chances although once that pause is over another extended period of uh, wet weather could be uh, in our future. As far as rainfall potential this is what it looks like here from Futurecast. And again, uh, a note on these rainfall potential uh, maps that we often show you. This is uh, uh, not a high res model. Okay, this is the uh, low res version of Futurecast. Generally showing, and again, you can kind of take this generally. I would expect all of us will have a chance of seeing at least an inch uh, from now through Saturday. Some folks will see less. There could be spots where we see two to three inches. Uh, we learned that last night that uh, those locations can be somewhat isolated, and that definitely will be a possibility with some of the heavier down to downpours that develop across the region here. So we'll have to watch where those. Uh, bands of heavier rainfall totals develop for the potential for some flash flood. It doesn't look like anything widespread, especially with uh, another inch or so possible across uh, most of the region. Now, as far as severe weather, uh, again, for Thursday, that risk will be highest to our north up in Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, and as those storms, and this kind of shows you that, as those storms move south tomorrow night, they will begin to weaken. It's still a marginal risk here uh, for basically the northwestern quarter of the area near Interstate 30 and points to the north and west. Friday, as the threat of thunderstorms and the boundary responsible for them shifts more towards the south, uh, we will see a marginal risk for severe weather across the region. And this basically means that if we have any severe weather issues, they 
should be somewhat isolated in nature and uh, more than likely wind will be the main culprit if we have any severe weather issues. Now longer range what's going to happen is we will kind of settle back into a soggy weather pattern. Again here comes the disturbance. You can see the, the uh, storms developing off to our north and west. Here comes the line associated with the uh, cold front that this system will push south. Uh, that focus will shift south heading into Saturday. The upper level ridge back here to the west that's going to dry us out for Sunday and Memorial Day, as you can see here, as it moves to the uh, east. And then we have this trough, which is going to kind of sit here. And you can see it kind of develops, and we'll see this southwesterly flow kind of develop here by Tuesday. That's going to allow the chance for an isolated thunderstorm to return, and that chance increases a bit starting Wednesday. And we very well could see some area of low pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere sit here to our west for several days, meaning that we'll see the continuation of that chance for the scattered thunderstorm. Once it returns, middle of next week, it very well could continue for almost a week, unfortunately, the way it looks right now. Obviously, that far out things could change, but uh, that is the way things appear right now. So let's take a look at your seven-day forecast, and you can see that uh, moving forward, we will see the dry and rather hot day tomorrow. A uh, good shot for the showers and thunderstorms Friday. The main focus shifts to the south half of the area Saturday. And then Sunday, Monday will be dry. And notice the cool down, 91 tomorrow, low 80s for Saturday and Sunday, middle 80s for Memorial Day. So Sunday, Monday, actually not bad uh, conclusion to the holiday weekend. And then we'll see the chance for the shower and thunderstorm return Tuesday and start to increase a bit Wednesday with highs pretty much staying in the mid 80s as we go through through the rest of next week. So enjoy tomorrow, enjoy Sunday, and enjoy Monday because the rest of the next couple of weeks, the chance of rain likely will stick around.